Welcome to another exciting edition of How to Own a Young Earth Creationist, henceforth known as Yek. Today, lesson number one, Irreducible Complexity, part two, Michael Bay, he should be tarred and feathered. Viewers of part one of this series will immediately recognize this comical performer. This is Michael Behe, and he has become the international champion of the intellectual poverty that is the concept of irreducible complexity. Irreducible complexity is the assertion that biological systems have interdependent parts, and if a single part is removed, the system becomes non-functional, therefore it had to start out in its current state, or more to the point, it had to have been created, and where there is creation, there must be a creator. This assertion can be demonstrated to be more false than pangolins are gay, and ownership of the yek proposing irreducible complexity can be taken with the greatest of expedience. Follow along in your yek owner's manual, pages 364 to 41. Rebuttal 1. Irreducible complexity is a directly conceived object of thought that is, to an exceedingly great extent, devoid of success and or effectiveness inasmuch as it directly relates to scientific standards, rules, and or regulations. The bacteria flagellum has generally been accepted as the principal representation of irreducible complexity by virtue of a resemblance and or analogy to it. However, it has been easily demonstrated that components of the bacteria flagellum motor are used elsewhere in nature for other functions, and the components of it are modified from earlier bacteria. So if we start with the flagellum, here it is, and these drawings name the genes and the proteins in the flagellum, and we say, let's take away a whole bunch of the parts. How many? Um, not one, not five, not ten. Let's take 40 of its 50 parts away. Now watch very carefully, because I'm going to do that experiment right there. There it goes. The parts are all gone, and I have left ten parts that span the membrane. What are left behind are ten proteins in the base of the flagellum. Now, if irreducible complexity is right, this should be absolutely functionless. It should have no function. But if you'll pardon the double negative, what is left behind is not non-functional. What is left behind is the type 3 secretory system, and it is fully functional. I know most of you in the room are going, of course, the type 3 secretory system. <laughs> it should easily be seen, recognized, and or understood without the slightest degree of subtlety that irreducible complexity is predicated on the demonstrably false presupposition that all biological structures are static in their function and that the observable phenomenon of evolutionary modification simply does not exist. Rebuttal 2. Irreducible complexity is an intellectual dead end. The supposition that a biological system is irreducibly complex is an end of the investigation statement. It is essentially saying that science has now peered as deep into nature as possible and no in further investigation is warranted because we have reached the apex of knowledge. This is, of course, the exact opposite goal of science. Behe has attempted to force his own inability or unwillingness to postulate or investigate the evolution of a bacteria flagellum on the rest of the scientific community. However, where Behe's intellectual prowess ends is where rational and competent scientific investigation begins. Rebuttal 3. Michael Behe was completely irresponsible with his actions and should be tarred and feathered. Michael Behe can easily be forgiven for being an incompetent researcher. However, ideologically and theologically de driven research intent on finding facts to support a religious conclusion and ignoring all other evidence, subverting the absolutely necessary process of peer review, and instead seeking popular approval using an anti-science propaganda machine, giving aid and comfort to those who want to forcibly impose a dark age mentality on the rest of us, and shameless self-promotion deserve nothing but the most pure of content and rebuke. Even Lee University, his employer, says that irreducible complexity is not scientific. On the university's website, they state, while we respect Professor Behe's right to express his views, they are his and his alone, and are in no way endorsed by the department. It is our collective position that intelligent design has no basis in science, has not been tested experimentally, and should not be regarded as scientific. How proud they must be to have a shameless self-promoter that is willing to bastardize and vandalize the knowledge and process that has saved millions of lives and erased the pain and suffering of billions simply to satisfy a personal sense of grandiosity. The scientific community would not lift him up high and proclaim him their messiah, so he takes his scientific credentials and employs them on the side of the sworn enemy of science, and all for the price that the religious right will shower him with praise and affection. 
below even the likes of personal injury lawyers, corrupt police officers, fans of the movie Ishtar, liars, cheaters, and all-around scoundrels. You are the worst kind of human being, Dr. Behe. You are a sellout. So the next time a yick tries to get all wise and uppity with the irreducible complexity rhetorical flatulence, use any of the rebuttals above and you can be sure to take ownership of your yick with the greatest of expedience. This is Jaguar Jones saying good day and happy owning.